What's going on, everybody? Welcome to more Minecraft. We're going to do another freaking, uh, what is this called? A custom map. And this one is called, what is this called? It's Asteroid 5251. Asteroid 5251. They should have come up with a freaking fancy name for this asteroid well, other I, than numbers. I think it means, like, you're, we're on the asteroid in the year 5251. Oh. Maybe. Well, then. And I'm accompanied by... Geek Girl Colorado, or Lindsay, as I'll be calling her this entire time. Hi, everybody. Hola. Que pasa? Okay. <laughs> so, let's start. So this okay. says storyline one. Or should we do an so, introduction? Let's let's uh, do an introduction on it. And then let's go over the rules, and then let's start with, stor with story one. <laughs> rules. So if you want to read the introduction, the fun part, I'll go ahead and read the rules. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> For over 50 years, the Terracon Corporation has followed and harvested one from the mezzanine meteor field. You followed... what? You followed your father's line of work, identifying the richest asteroids and dragging them out of the field for safe harvest. Even with advanced guidance systems, flying an XD-23 tug into the field is dangerous work, but it makes for an early retirement for those who survive. You were on a routine flight when you noticed a strange signal coming from your... What? From an asteroid with the ID 5251A-32 period. Impossible, you thought. It seemed to be a distress signal, but nothing could live in this field. And what's more, it had to have a massive power source. Signals don't travel well in the field, and that this signal was almost three clips in. Clicks or clips? I think it's supposed to be clicks. Definitely clicks. Or, I didn't like, say they were good at grammar, just they were good at a story. Alright, I like it. Your first mistake was deciding to check it out. Ugh, idiot. With no means of communication in the field. Double idiot. God. It's best to stay within the charted lane in case something malfunctions. They can find you then. Your second mistake was to spend a few too many moments gawking at the sheer size of 5251. And falling to engage. Failing to engage the... I can't read. Ugh, and failing to engage the auto nav. When a ship is hit, there usually aren't any survivors. When the field gets stirred up, navigation becomes a nightmare. Lucky for you, the crunching sound of an asteroid impact lurched the ship straight towards 5251. Of course, you thought this was the end, but it turns out this was, this was the beginning of an adventure. Are you getting pumped now? I am I'm kind pumped. of, actually. I want to learn more about this. For, did, it, did you turn it daytime, or did it just go daytime? I think it just went daytime. That's fantastic. So, we'll go with it. I'm liking it. All right. Here are the rules. You start the game in a 512 by 512 by 128 area designated as the crash site. This oh. is the first of several areas that were designed specifically for survival play. Most resources can be found here. The crash site is unique in that it is the only area where the player is encouraged to explore, explore the snowy surface. That's a little bit hard to pronounce. The borders of the crash site are marked with red wool. It is suggested that you do not go beyond those borders. There's nothing special beyond them, and if you were to stray too far, you might find areas meant to be found later in the game. Ultimately, the way to the next zone will be found underground. Except for the crash zone, you will never need to place or break blocks to advance fr through from one place to another. If you want to play by the rules, never break man-made blocks, including cobblestone, wood planks, iron blocks, etc., or other blocks like smooth stone, wood, and so on and so forth that are incorporated into man-made structures. There are paths which will be blocked or unknown. The clues are found in the dialogue. Dialogue is presented through 37 storyline signs, and they will read, please read storyline number one. So that's where we'll read our stories. Kidoki. Your main goal is to find these signs and use the information given to progress through the map. Some of these signs refer to side adventures and some refer to the main storyline. Signs are not normally found outside, and when they are, they are placed in obvious locations. Most signs will be found inside buildings, so when the player or so the player is encouraged to explore those settings thoroughly. When you've found sign 37, you have won the game. Yay! This is going to be really exciting. <laughs> <laughs> this asteroid is crazy! I've been running around a little bit. And I'm almost dying of hunger soon. 
cannibalism. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, so we can break blocks here, but nowhere else. Yeah, while we're in this area, I believe until we get to story number two. But while we're in this area. And I forget whether we need food or not. I'm pretty sure we don't. Looking for something. I have lots of dirt. Dirt is good. Dirt makes the world go round. Dirt is dirty. That's true. It's very yeah. um um granular. Or so, I don't know where I was going with that. I was going somewhere, it's, I'm sure. It's gritty. Gritty, that's the word I was looking for. Yeah. I knew it okay. was like the G. I'm going to read story part number one. Oh, right. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> You're so excited to get through this map. You awake in half days. You pull yourself off the floor, remembering the crash. A feeling of dread momentarily hits you. You know, I might have to have you read this because you do a way better job than I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You awaken half dazed. You pull yourself off the floor remembering the crash. A feeling of dread momentarily hits you. No one will find me here, you think to yourself. You rub your eyes and look around, cause they're itchy. The atmos- what? The smoking ship is in pieces. You feel lucky to be alive. There is atmosphere here. It is thin but breathable. The whole of my- wait- <clears throat> The whole of my ship is still in one piece. I might get some useful information from the console if it's still operating. Have a look around and check inside the ship. Okay. So what kind of a ship is a smoking ship? Uh, like, like a lounge. Like they hang out and just have like cigarettes and hookahs. Yes. And all tour of you the galaxy. Oh my god. That me. sounds like the best ship in the world. I would totally invest in it. Oh, wow, storyline two already. Ooh, crafting table. Oh, God, redstone torches. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't like redstone. What does that button do? That button doesn't do anything. What is this? I think that's the joystick, or whatever they call it when you're the lever. That's the right word. Wait, what? Oh, uh, um, yeah. Up here, like where you control the ship. Now, were you driving or was I driving? Um, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Next time, yeah. we're going to stop and ask for directions. <laughs> directions are not important. We're going <laughs> to the asteroid following my fa our father's... Wait, yeah, our father's... Line of work, asteroid mining. Okay, please read story line two. Uh, wow, this is a good one. <coughs> As you had hoped, the computer system is intact. You run an ore scan and indicates an intricate cave system below the surface, rich in many minerals. At the lowest depths, there seems to be a massive cavernous area. The scan also indicates anomalous meteoroids. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's Meter Meteoroids. Meteoroids. Me me I have to put this on the thing really fast. Hold on. What is this? If you can... if you, Hang on. Really fast. Really fast. Really fast. Really fast. Really fast. So fast. Oh, God. It's not going to be that fast. Screw it. I that don't want to do it. totally not fast. It's, I don't want to do it anymore. It's meteoroids. That's one. And the craters on the surface. Well, first business is to set up shop and survive. It's a good thing I have the bioterrain kit. Yeah, that's good. The soil here looks fertile. Uh, once I know I have the means to survive, I should explore the surface and check out the caverns below ground. The redstone torches I have would make good makers on the what markers on the surface, so I don't get lost. And I can steal the seal the hole in the ship as a temporary shelter. At least the bed still works. Set up shop. Uh, okay. Dig down and explore the caverns below. That's our objective. So we have to build trees. But we don't have any bone meal. Oh, well, we have water, I guess. So if These we do, chests are empty. I stole everything. <sighs> I know. Okay. I'm rude. I have a hoe. I'll just go out 
All truth. alone in the dark. I have those. I need that hole. And then that one. Hang on, I'll give you some stuff. Where is it? Blah! Blah! Cactus. I don't know what cactus are for. Are you feeling okay? You've got some green stuff coming out of you. <laughs> it's the breathable atmosphere on the, on the <laughs> asteroid. Did you say you have a hoe? I do. Can I have her? Thanks. I forgot how to make infinite water. Uh, four in a square. And then put... You have two waters, right? No, only one. What? That is a travesty. I guess we're going to have to find another way to get some more water. Because you can only make infinite water if you have two. But. Yes. Hmm. I doubt an asteroid's going to have... Oh, well, that's working. That's cool. Yeah, it'll at least get a little bit going. Well, too bad we don't have any bone meal, though. Like, the trees are going to take forever. I think once we sleep, then the trees will maybe sprout. That'd be good. It's What's getting dark. Um... Hmm. And there's only... Well, actually... Well, we have wool, but we don't have any wood yet. Because there's only one bed. We have to sleep together! <laughs> <laughs> you get to sleep on the edge. Wow. Rude! I like wall, though. Like, wall's the best part. Like, I like sleeping against the wall. Okay, you sleep against the wall right there, yes. and I'll take the edge. Whoa. Oh god, I forgot Optifine is on. Oh god! Oh god, I'm zoomed in! I've never had this before! Oh, this is crazy! <laughs> Whee! Oh my god! I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Did you eat those seeds? I didn't you're not eat supposed those to eat the seeds. <laughs> I've never had that before in my game. That's the best thing ever. I'm like, oh, watch, Lindsay, 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 Lindsay. Bah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay. <coughs> I'm dying. <sighs> okay. Oh, God. <gasps> Server closed. Oh, did I break it? You broke it. Poop. Wait. My bad. Um, I was going to try to get... Here, let me sleep really quick and make it day. Uh oh, oh, never mind. Right and six oh nine one two is the port. Uh, we'll turn that. Oh, we'll turn that off for a second. Edit six oh nine one four. Six oh nine one two. Nine one two. And then we'll, and then we'll oops. And then we'll turn that back on. I'm inside of you. Oh. Oh, is it daytime? How do you sleep good? I I did. <laughs> <laughs> that wall though. What is so. this? What's in this part? I'm looking at all the like different engine pieces and like hoping that there's something cool inside. But so far I'll it's keep just wool. Hoe in this hoe thing. Maybe you can find us some water. Um, maybe. It's an asteroid though. Well, there might be ice or something that we could melt. Oh. Snow. Can we use snow? Maybe we can. I don't know. That would be awesome. I have torches. Somewhere. Torches. There. No, that's redstone. There. Because there's snow on the top. Or that is, It's not wool, is it? I'm pretty sure it's snow. Oops. This seems like kind of cheaty though. Like I have to like really, really work for this. Oh I no. bet okay. we'll be this one piece of 
water is going to be enough because it runs pretty far. Yeah. So I can plant a lot more wheat. And I guess while this grows, we'll have to find... Huh. Maybe start looking for a place to dig. Yeah. I made some stairs down, but I don't... I wonder if there's like a point of interest or something. Wait, are these... These are snow too. I guess I could have just done that. Yeah, these are definitely snow as well. <laughs> um, did it, like this doesn't seem to be any like points that I would dig in a normal like single player server. So I'm just gonna dig, I guess. We'll just dig down. Break all the rules keep... of Minecraft. Well, we're allowed to dig down here, but I don't remember like. Maybe we'll find, like, a special hole somewhere that looks like we should go into it. That would be good. <laughs> I definitely want you... So it looks like he made the underground pretty specifically. Oh, yeah, I mean, that's obvious. And... Since we can't break through the... The wood... Or not the wood, the... <coughs> The things, the con the concrete, stone, whatever you're trying to break, we're not supposed to. Oh, really? Yeah. Oops. <laughs> I th pretty much any. I think we're supposed to do. Um, this is. I think I got us into a weird situation here, because I can't really go up until I block unless I block you. Oh, that's fine. Um. I think it'll be clearly marked where we're supposed to go next. Like with the... We can dig through the dirt and not hit stone. I think. Hmm. Oops. Like I guess I mean we shouldn't... We won't have to break stone. Right. To get to the place that we need to go. That's, so... That's trees can go ahead and grow at any time now. Yeah, that would be nice, right? And maybe the wheat. Um, let's see. Let's see. Oh, wait. Wonder... Okay, hang on. There's this... Oh, wait. There's this over here. Oh, what is, is it? Just... Oh, wait. Have I already been up here? No, I definitely did not. And then there's another one. There's a lot of metals on this asteroid, too. Yeah, definitely. So if we can grow some trees and... Make a pickaxe, at least. Make a pickaxe, we can start harvesting some resources <laughs> for an excursion. Excursions! That's I mean, a fun word. We can't really go up. There's nothing up there, so I guess we're going to have to go down. Right.